Sandwich crackers are one of life's little conveniences. Crispy wafers with peanut butter or cheese spread between them, all wrapped up in a neat package. In North America, factories have been mass producing these snacks since the early part of the 20th century to satisfy the need to nibble. Sandwich crackers come in handy for a quick refuel. Just unwrap and snack while continuing on your routine. They start with the smaller ingredients for the dough, which include baking soda, a powdered cheese additive, and a kind of phosphate, which, like the baking soda, is a leavening agent. Next are enzyme tablets and the yeast, two ingredients that will later cause the dough to ferment to give the crackers textural strength. They add water and thicken the liquefied blend with a little flour. This makes it easier to pump into the next mixer. This one is a big trough full of flour. They add ice to chill it and then pipe in the small ingredient blend. Cooling the mix with ice preserves the yeast and enzymes to hold off on fermentation. If fermentation happens too soon, the dough could turn to mush. They lower a lid equipped with three spiraling blades and set the blades in motion, pumping in more water to augment the moisture from the melting ice and small ingredient blend. It's now ready for fermentation, so it's into a warm room to activate the yeast and the enzymes. The dough swells and a worker breaks the crust to release gas. An automated system tips the trough of dough into a chute that takes it one floor down to the rolling station. The chemical changes caused by fermentation have made this dough less sticky, so it can now be rolled into sheets without adhering to the equipment. The dough now travels between rollers that flatten it and squeeze it to a specific thickness. The sheets of dough exit and accumulate. When several layers have piled up, the dough is on the move again. Several layers at a time now, it moves between a series of rollers which compress the dough to its final thickness. A quick dust with flour and the dough now goes under a rolling cutter that scores it to cracker size proportions. The cutter is also spiked with pins that puncture the dough. The holes give the crackers a dimpled look, and they have a practical purpose, allowing steam to escape during cooking for a crispier snack. A sprinkle of salt, and the cracker dough now heads into the oven. This oven is more than 65 yards long with several heating zones. The hottest is around 700 degrees Fahrenheit. A roller breaks them cleanly along the score lines. A quick spray with vegetable oil adds flavor. The crackers then transfer from one conveyor to another and land in neat stacks. They head into an inspection station where workers pick out any damaged crackers and adjust the alignment of the shingled rows. So it's a smooth transition as the crackers move into lanes. Down the line, Workers pull off samples to weigh them. Then equipment flips the crackers upright, positioning them to enter the filling line. The peanut butter filling is ready and kept warm, so it's smooth and creamy enough to pump. The top crackers now head downward in a precise configuration. While below, the bottom crackers whiz by the peanut butter depositor. It pumps a dollop of peanut butter onto each bottom cracker. The peanut butter-covered bottom crackers now move forward to meet up with the top crackers. And again, with perfect timing, the top crackers land on the bottom ones in exact alignment. Equipment separates them into sets of three as they head into packaging. Plastic wrap envelops them, and a heat sealer cuts and closes the packets. Suctioning arms collect the packets and transfer them to cardboard boxes. From mixing to packaging, it has taken about 24 hours to produce a packet of sandwich crackers. Once it reaches a hungry snacker, it will be gone in no time at all.